Today, we're going to be taking a look at the hello theme and specifically answering a question that pops up a lot in the different forums and groups. That is, how do you get rid of the title on every single page inside Elementor without having to do it on a page by page basis? Well, I'm going to show you a couple of techniques you can use to do just that. My name is Paul C and welcome to WP Touch, the channel where I help you get more from WordPress. If you'd like to learn more and be kept up to date with all of the new content we add every single week, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, smash the bell icon to become part of the WP crew and be notified every time new content is added. Okay, so the hello theme for Elementor. If you don't know what it is, it's basically just a bare bones theme that allows you to use it, keep WordPress happy, and then you can use Elementor Pro's theme builder to build out every aspect of your site. But one of the things that's inherent with this particular theme is it automatically puts in the page title on every single new page you create. Most of us don't really want that. Yes, you can go in and switch it off on a page by page basis, but there's got to be an easier way of doing it than that. Well, today I'm going to show you some simple methods to do just that, to get rid of it completely so you don't have to worry about it. So let's just hop over onto the computer, take a look at how we can start doing that right now. So in the dashboard now of WordPress, under the appearance section, we're taking a look at the themes that we have. As you can see, I've only got the hello theme installed. Now, normally when we want to go through and actually remove the title from the pages, we do it in this way. You come into your pages, you add a new page in there. Once you've done that, you give it a title and we'll call this test page. We hit publish just to make sure we commit those changes. And then we go in and we say edit with Elementor. When we edit with Elementor, we'll see that we have that page title displayed. So you can see there's our test page. This is now part of the actual theme itself. So we can't get rid of that without going through the process of coming down to the settings section. And in there, we can say hide the title. Now, what that does is that just hides the title on this particular page that we're working with. Doesn't change it globally. Now, you may be thinking, well, I could use CSS if I wanted to, to go and hide that. And yes, you could do that, but it's not necessarily the best way of going about doing it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at a code way through the functions PHP file. Now, before we make changes to anything like that we need to do one important thing and that is make sure that we install a child theme now if you're not used to a child theme just think of it this way it is basically just a functions PHP file a style sheet file an image that allows you to see inside the actual dashboard of WordPress what theme you're working with and a readme file generally what that means is that if you want to make changes to the functions PHP file you want to add something in there or you want to add your own styles into the CSS file you can do that and then when the the main theme itself the hello theme not the child version is updated all those changes you've made and applied to your child theme will stay in place, but the theme itself, the parent theme, will be updated, therefore making sure you've got the most up-to-date version without wiping out all of your changes. Now, if this sounds confusing, don't worry about it. It's really, really pretty simple once you get your head around it. So let's go through and set up that first of all. So we're going to come out of this page. We say exit the dashboard. We'll leave this because I don't really mind too much about that. What we're going to do is we're going to come over to appearance and we're going to come into themes. Once we're inside there, you can see all I've got currently installed is the hello theme, the normal hello theme. So what we need to do is we need to find that child theme and install it. So to do that, we're going to go over to the GitHub location. Now I'll put a link to this in the description below so you can go and download this for yourself. But all you need to do is come out to this location. You can see those files I talked about, functions PHP, the readme file, the screenshot and the style sheet are all listed there. We don't need to download those one at a time. We can just have them all zipped up and download them in one go. So let's come over to the option that says clone or download. We're going to click on the little arrow and you can see we have two options. We can open in desktop or we can download the zip file. We're going to download the zip file. We'll let that go through and download. You can see there's the file downloaded as a zip file. Jump back over into our dashboard, back into our appearance and theme section. And we're going to come and say add new. We're going to click on there and that will allow us to go through and either choose a theme or what we want is upload the theme. Click on upload. We can now choose the file. So all I'm going to do is drag this file that we've downloaded, drop it on the choose file and then say install now. Obviously, if you can't do that, you could say choose file, locate the hello theme child inside your downloads folder or wherever you default download from anywhere online and do the same thing. Then once we've done that, we'll hit install now. That'll go through the process of installing it. And you can see we can now have a live preview, activate it or return to the themes page. So let's just return to the themes page and see what we now have. 
So there's the current theme that we have, which is the Hello Elementor, which is the parent theme. And then there's the theme that we've just downloaded and installed, which is the Hello Elementor child theme. So let's activate that. Now, once we've activated it, we now have the child theme available. And if we come back over to that page we just created, come back into all pages, and in there, we're going to come down to our test page and we'll edit that with Elementor. You'll see that nothing has changed. Everything is laid out in exactly the same way. Now, if you're wondering why we have no page title on this, it's because Elementor saved a revision for us automatically. So if we come back to the settings, you'll see that the tick box or the little checkbox that we set up, the hide title, is still checked. If we uncheck that like we'd have with a normal page when we created a new one, you can see that page title is still there. So how do we get rid of it? Let's take a look at that now. So what we need to do is access the functions.php file of our child theme. Now, there are various different ways you could do this. When you're online, if you're using cPanel, you could log into there and use the file manager and access the file that you need inside the child theme folder section. Or you could do it through an FTP client, or you can actually do it directly inside uh, WordPress itself. Now, that's not the recommended way of doing it, because if you go in that way, you make a change and you mess something up, you could actually just kill your copy of WordPress. You then have to go through one of those other methods, revert it back, get rid of this, the problem that you had there. And it can just be a bit of a, a sort of problem. So I would generally recommend using the FTP method or using your cPanel access through the file manager. However, because I'm working on a local server setup, I don't have access to those. So I'm not going to use those. I'll do it directly inside WordPress itself. So we're going to come out of this. We're going to exit to our dashboard. We'll leave that, not worried about this page still. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come over to appearance and we're gonna come into the theme editor option. Now inside there, we're gonna get a little notification saying, are you sure you want to do this? Please be aware that you could end up destroying your website. We're gonna say, I understand. And in there you can see, we can choose the themes that we have installed. Currently it's using the one that we've got set up, which is the hello element or child theme. And we're in there, you can see any of the files that we can edit are listed on the right hand side. So again, you can see there's our style sheet, our CSS, our functions PHP, and that readme text file. We want the theme functions. So we're gonna click on that, that's gonna load it in, and you can see there's not really much going on there. It's very, very bare bones. We've got this setup that just says, what's the name of the parent theme, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. We don't need to worry about that. What we're going to do is come to the end of that. We're going to edit, add a new line in there, and we're going to add in our new function. Now, don't worry about typing this out. I'll put this on the actual page itself on the website and a link to that down below. So you can go and check this out and you can literally just copy and paste this in. So I'm going to paste in the function we're going to use. So what it's saying is this function is called Ellie Disable Page Title. And what it's saying is return false. In other words, it's going to look through, providing that function is defined, it's going to go through then and add this filter in, which is the hello element or page title, and we're just going to basically disable it. We're going to call that function and we're going to use that function. Don't worry about this. All we care about is the fact that by putting this in there, it's going to globally remove that page title from every page we create. Let's update our file. That will then save that. And now we're going to come back out, back into our pages, back into all pages. We're going to create a new test page. So we're starting off with a complete blank. We can say add new. And we're going to say this one. We're going to call this functions test. We'll publish that. And then we'll hit edit with Elementor to open that up. Once we open that up, that's going to load Elementor in. And we should then find that our page title is now completely disabled. If we come over to the settings section, you can see hide title is not switched on. So we are using that function to remove the page title globally throughout the entire hello theme. So there you go, a super simple technique for getting rid of that really annoying header that's on every single page you create with the hello theme. Have you used this technique yourself? Has this opened your eyes to another way of doing this? Or have you found a various different ways of doing this? If you have, let me know in that comment section below. It's great to share the knowledge and we can find various different ways to do similar things. As always, if you'd like to support the channel, don't forget to use those affiliate links in the description below. It costs you no more money, but it does give a percentage back to the channel and help us create more great content for you moving forward. As always, my name is Paul C. This has been WP Tats, and until next time, take care.